Greetings all, Ferrari Man 601 here. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and welcome aboard the Boeing 787-10. We are here at Newark International Airport here at Newark, New Jersey, where we have got ourselves some pretty low ceilings and some miserable rainy weather. We are gonna be flying down to Charlotte, North Carolina today. And uh, well, we're doing this simply because we can. Really, this uh, video serves as a test of my new capabilities here with Flight Simulator uh, upon getting a new computer. So trying to figure out what is really possible to do here. However, what have we got? We have got a cold and dark airplane sitting here on the runway threshold. That's gonna be something we're gonna want to address presently. So we got battery on and we have got all kinds of stuff coming aboard here. Um, okay, got a flight plan loaded up. That's good. We need fuel pumps and an APU to start. Let us pray that that happens without too much drama. In the meantime, we want to get our cruising altitude preloaded here, 40,000 feet is what we have got loaded up. So hopefully that remains. Beyond that, flight directors are on, auto throttles are off for takeoff, but we'll get them up once we are airborne so that we can get the speed hold function in the autopilot. Got 250 knots preloaded here so that we can start that once we are airborne and we're ready to start our autopilot. And then beyond all of that, let's see, has the APU started? We're about to find out. Mm-hmm. Not sounding like it. Whatever. We'll turn on our nav lights, landing lights, we just had that drone go away from under battery power, I, I guess the APU is running, I don't know, we don't have any immediate way of seeing whether or not that's actually occurred, at least uh, not to my knowledge, whatever. I will take that as a green light to try for engine start. Start panel on the engines is here. I'm trying to start the left engine. There we go, we got N2. Looking for 20% N2 and then we'll turn our fuel on. 18, 19, 20, fuel. Looking for EGT and fuel flow. Fuel flow is up at 0.6. EGT is coming up. We have N1 and we've got a light off. All right. So that is the left engine started. We'll try to do the same on the right engine now. We have N2. Good. Oil pressure coming up on the left engine. Oil pressure coming up on the right engine now. Stand by for fuel on. There's 19, 20% N1. There we go. Or N2 rather. Fuel is on. We have fuel flow. Looking for EGT. EGT. There we go. And I'll call a light off there on the right engine. Good stuff. Right. Uh, left engine, we can get our AC buses up on the generators. There we go. That's cool. Starter should be out on the right engine, and it is. Right engine is basically normalized. There we go, 20% N1. Get the generators up on the right engine. 
APU gen off and APU off. Cool. Got our flaps to call it 10 degrees for takeoff. Looks good. Coming down. Flaps down to 10. And we have got our autopilot pre-selected here for once we are airborne. Parking brakes are disengaged. Flaps are at 10. Altimeter is set at 2993. We have got our HUD, which won't be all that useful, but it'll give us something. Give us toga power. Pause at about 50% there. Got good engine response and go to toga. There we go. Engine speeds are coming up. Airspeed is alive. 50 knots. A little bit of right rudder. 60. 80 knots. We don't have any V speeds loaded. There goes 100 knots. We'll do a V1 at about 140. 130, 140, V1, rotate. There's 160. A little bit early, had a tail strike, that's okay, but uh, we have a positive rate. Gear up, gear is coming up. Bringing our flaps in and throttling down. About 72% on our N1 throttles. Getting shuffled off on the ATC already. Set auto throttle and set speed hold at 250 knots. Deal with ATC. All right. Go for AP command and set. Make sure they've got our altitude set at 4. Zero, 00 in terms of flight level. Set New York departure and we'll contact. New York departure Boeing Foxtrot 601 is passing 2,100 feet, climbing 11,000 feet. Boeing Foxtrot 601, New York departure. Get rid of the HUD, we don't need it. Decimal 9 or 3, continue as planned. 2993 is uh, still local QNH. Wonderful. Auto throttles are going 9 o'clock, 4 miles at 6,500. Of course I don't see him. How the hell am I supposed to see him? But I'm going to say traffic is in sight anyway. I'm going to report in sight because I don't want to deal with them. I guess I'm identifying as a woman today. Cool. If you can see me in this pea soup. 180. Gonna do that anyway, but okay. Auto throttles are coming in good. We are holding our commanded airspeed really easily. So that's fine. Gonna zoom out here on our. PFD. Cool. And they're going to continue to shuffle me around out of New York Center. Cool. Did not just drop my controller. That didn't happen. H-U-L-K-K, -K, really? That's what you're going to say? Hulk! It's Hulk, you bastard! Nico Hulkenberg, is he still in Formula 1? Is he driving for the, uh... Whatever the Russian team is? Haas? Yeah, that team. He's driving for them now, right? Yeah, I think so. Because, uh, Filius Mikhailis got the boot because he sucks? Yeah. Uh, look at this. We have some icing on those windows. Yep, right there. You see that? That's ice. 
rye mice, I would call that. We are... Shut up with the traffic, for God's sake. Where's this guy? 11 o'clock? How? Ah, 9,000. I am above him. I don't give a shit. Give me three five zero knots and uh Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Cool. Uh traffic in sight. Nice. ILS is coming aboard here. I do not need it at the moment. Screw you on the uh, FD. And LS, can we turn that off? Because I don't need to be seeing ILS feathers here um, because I'm at 15,000 feet and climbing rapidly. No, I don't see that. Whatever. I'll keep the flight directors on. Not that we need them at the moment. Seatbelts. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I should have told the passengers what to do in terms of uh, fastening their seatbelts, but at this point, natural selection. We did have a tail strike on takeoff. I am keenly aware of that. But we got the airplane cleaned up. Flaps are up. Boeing 601, climb and maintain flight level 320. 320. Climbing through it anyway. I am slightly concerned as to my feminine voice. Not that I have a problem with feminine voices, but it's not my normal voice. So, just want a little bit of an explanation as to what has happened. Meanwhile, we did have the icing on the uh, exterior windows, that's fine. What do we have going on outside? Well, um... Nothing! That's good. That's really, really good. Pretty thick, somewhat broken, but almost solid cloud deck there over the eastern seaboard. So glad to be above all of that, because that's no fun. What the hell? We got <laughs> Why is this airplane pitching over like this? 21,500. Do we have ourselves a problem with our... Uh, Pedo tubes there with icing. We do have all of our anti-icing systems on. Do we? They're on auto. Let's turn them on. What's going on with this? Why do we have such a wild pitch maneuver here? Uh, set vertical speed here. See if you can hold this at 1800 per minute. Come on, people. Get yourself stabilized. Okay. Okay. I think we're stabilized again. That's good. Engines are basically fired walled under the auto throttle. That's good. Again, yeah, just trying to get out uh, to Charlotte today without any loss of life. That would be ideal. These pitch upsets are somewhat concerning, but so far so good. Again, I am just really... Washington Center, okay. You're gonna interrupt what I'm saying there to tell me to hand off to another ATC Center. Great, okay. Oh, come on! Let me respond. You had no calls for the last five minutes, and then you got to call Airbus 53 Charlie. Really? One two four decimal seven seven five Boeing six zero one. Just whatever. Hello, Washington. Washington Center Boeing Foxtrot six zero one is passing flight level two five five, climbing flight level three two zero. Boeing Foxtrot six zero one Washington Center. Continue to H U L K K as planned. H U L K K. 
Hotel Uniform Lima Kilo Kilo. Can you at least say that? No. It's ridiculous. And this is with the Microsoft Azure or whatever the hell Microsoft called their um, text-to-speech services these days. I don't. I haven't had the disconnect message yet because I'm sure we'll get that at some point because it's MSFS and of course you're going to have some sort of network error when you're running this sim because it's literally freaking enormous and uh, the bandwidth that it requires on your Wi-Fi is just stupid but this is the best TTS that uh, Microsoft currently have so the fact that it doesn't know the NATO, al the NATO alphanumerics is kind of it's kind of concerning but we do have our rate of climb stabilized at about 1,800 feet per minute. As a matter of fact, it's precisely 1,800 feet per minute. 2.9.9.2 is our QNH. Because we are well above 25,000 feet at this point. I've got 3.5.0 knots ordered. And so far, so good in terms of that being okay uh, with respect to our critical Mach number. We go to our map. The FR map shows us just above the Delaware River here around the area of Trenton, New Jersey. If I slew down here, we'll be... Yep, there's Philadelphia, and right around here, the bend in the river. And right around here is one of my favorite places in the world. The current mooring site of the uh, battleship, USS New Jersey. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure this is it. This is a relatively Iowa-class battleship-shaped little blip of land. And, uh, yeah, that's Camden. That is where the USS New Jersey currently resides. Hopefully she won't reside there permanently because we want to get her to dry dock. Anyway, we've got ourselves a little bit of a right-hand turn coming in. This is for the Beacon... Penguin, I guess you would call this. This is Papa November Golf Whiskey November. Yep, there we go. Good stuff. On the 640 scope, you can see basically the, uh, the approach into CLT, but so far so good as far as we're concerned. We should be showing some contrails at this point from the engines. We're over 30,000 feet. Do we see contrailing? Yes, we do. There it is. As they say in Italian, molto bello. Play level 400. That happens to be what we've got dialed in on the AP. Almost like I read it ahead of time. Good! I recognize that I'm being incredibly unprofessional and irreverent in this video. Uh, not typically my persona here, because I attempt to uh, convey some contrived aspect of giving a damn about what I'm talking about and what I'm doing here when I show you these things. God damn it! Shut up! 12 o'clock, 4 miles at 310. He should be directly in front of us for the most part. I don't see him. I, I don't see him! Where is he? He's coming right at us, isn't he? Where are you? I don't see you. <laughs> a guy coming directly at us at a distance of four nautical miles, basically the same altitude. You're not going to give me the chance to tell you whether or not I see him. You're just going to hand me off to Washington. Okay. You're government employee. Uh, shut up, Cessna. Who the hell? You're at 5,000 feet. You're a single engine Cessna. You can just go ahead and just... Mm. I'm doing Mach 0.8 right here at 34,000 feet. You're a Cessna at 5,000 doing maybe 120 knots at most. You think you're more important than me. Have I got news for you? Don't you know who I think I am? Immediately? Immediately, you're gonna hand me over. You just, just, you know what? 
You people deserve to be laid off. Whatever the feds are going to do when they decide to make the ghost of Ronald Reagan president again, they're going to lay off all you people. You deserve it. Yep, 355 for 400. Zero, zero. Penguin! Call it Penguin! Please! Not going to do it. Nope. That would be too much fun for the FAA. And the FAA, we all know that the FAA hates fun. Because they're a federal agency. They're one of those alphabet agencies that are extra constitutional, which means that uh, they don't know what fun is. Because the FUN agency was not uh, codified by John Adams. And that was a tremendous oversight by one of the greatest founding fathers. Meanwhile, a little bit of course correction as the airplane realigns itself to Big Rig. <laughs> That's Bravo India Golf, Romeo Golf. 36 nautical miles out, roughly. These uh, GPS nav aids, they do have uh, some interesting names. There are quite a few of them if you want to look around the world in terms of uh, what they're called. They've, they've had some fun with this stuff. But uh, around here, doesn't appear that ATC is willing to play. And weren't we supposed to be playing around with... Yeah, we're looking at an older message log here. Yep, we are on Washington Center. Okay. Makes me feel slightly better. Cessna 47 Delta, contact Washington Center on 132 decimal 55. Good day. That's not the same Cessna. No, it's not. Nope. It is not. Confirmed. 47 Delta. Cool. Whoever he is. Obviously, in terms of the autopilot, we have switched over from indicated airspeed to Mach number. Push that up as far as we can. Mach 0.98 is what I want to hold. The engines are still basically firewalled <laughs> from takeoff. I know that this is not the way that you would normally run engines like these, but we have got tons of fuel on board. You can see total fuel quantity is 219,800 pounds. Gross weight is 548,900 pounds. And we have no fuel temperature detected. Doesn't really matter because the engines are burning, so that's good. 17 mark nautical miles to the big rig nav aid. That's cool. What's the date here? 4 5 20. Three years ago. Today is May 4th, 2023. To break the fourth wall here in terms of recording this video. But, um, yeah. Thinks it's three years ago. Now, even though I'm complaining about all of this traffic on the radio, I'm actually very happy to see it. Because part of getting a new computer has meant for me that I'm able to run Flight Simulator with more of the amenities, and that includes traffic. I'm running AI traffic at the moment. I don't trust it quite enough. Again, they're going to interrupt me. Yep, yep, yep. 13255, Boeing 601. See ya. I don't quite trust it enough to run uh, real world, real time traffic, but AI traffic is nice. Cool. Big rig. Call it big rig, please. Actually, there is. Um, 
There's at least one member of my audience who I know of who does know what he's talking about when it comes to uh, flying on the eastern seaboard. Is there really a nav aid called Big Rig? Let me know. Oh, Dooley! Look at this! Delta Uniform Alpha Lima Yankee Dooley. Double rear axle on a truck. Clearly, there are some puns going on here. Please let me know. You know who you are. You're a member of uh, the secret internet place, as well as a uh, longtime fan of the, of the channel. Let me know if these are real nav aids, please. So, Big Rig and Dooley. Cool. <laughs> and then the next one is Booyah. It doesn't really require any uh, explanation. Booyah. Cool. Ground speed is 520 knots. Trail air speed is three is uh, 531. Mach is point niner one one. Hello, FIB. The IAC did not do nine one one. Please don't off me. Meanwhile, we're at 40,000 feet. We are... Where the hell are we? Would help if I knew where the hell we were. Um, we are over the Chesapeake Bay. That is some cool stuff. We meet Yankee Hotel. We'll have a kink down toward the south. And then we'll get into the suggestively named approach for CLT. If I get demonetized on this video, don't blame me. Blame the uh, IAO designation for Charlotte, North Carolina Airport, CLT. There's a vowel that you can slot someplace in there that uh, will get you demonetized. Even though it's uh, highly misogynistic. But I see no signs of icing on the forward section of the fuselage, leading edges of the wings. They also look good. Bearings for the nav lights and uh, assorted paraphernalia. They also look good. Look at the detail in there. On the strobe. That's, that's cool. Trailing edge of the wing. Sweet. Um, static probes. Cool! That is what you call cool shit. Like it. How's our trim looking here on our uh, stab? Cool. But we do have a lot of cloud cover here on the East Coast. Not happy about that. But it is what we've got. Washington Center, Cessna November 3486 Golf is passing 9,400 feet. Climbing what is our airspeed? 280 knots? Cessna November 3486 Golf, Washington Center altimeter. Have us hold 280 knots. Continue to Maybe we can save a little bit of fuel. Yep, auto throttles are responding as expected. That the airplane is happy at its cruising altitude. Next nav aid beacon is Dooley at 8.5 nautical miles. And our altimeter is set to 992 which is what you would want at uh, these altitudes because at this point it doesn't necessarily matter as much what our precise 
actual altitude is above the ground. It just matters that all of the airplanes at this altitude are using the same Q and H, the same barometric pressure, to define what their altitude is so that we don't have any collisions in terms of traffic conflicts. So that's cool. So engines look good. Everything else looks good. Ground speed is 514 knots. And maintain 9,000 feet Cessna 86 Golf. We are now tracking toward Booyah at 32 nautical miles out. True air temperature is minus 12 C. cold out there, as one might expect. Flying around in our drone camera outside, um, not seeing any appreciable breaks in the clouds ahead. But directly below, we have got ourselves, oh, that's an airport, clearly. Down to about 11 o'clock on screen. What airport is that, pray tell? That is gonna be... Yeah. Kilo Victor, Kilo X-Ray. What is that airport? I don't know. Let's go to Google. Kilo Victor, Kilo X-Ray. That is Potomac Airfield in <laughs> a place called Friendly, Maryland. It looks bigger than something that I would call an airfield, though. It looks more like an airport. Yeah, it can't be it. That can't possibly be it. Is there anything else in this area? Yeah, there we go. Kilo Alpha Delta Whiskey. Is that Andrews? Yep, Andrews is what that is. Twin runways. Yep, that's jiving with what I'm seeing out the out the window here. Directly below us right now, that is uh, the friendly airport. <laughs> that makes more sense. All right. So again, just trying to get our bearings, but uh, we are over Maryland, quite obviously. And then Lima Yankee Hotel will be our kink to the south. Makes sense. And uh, again, very happy with what the airplane is doing. Don't have any complaints. We are in good shape as far as uh, where we are established in cruise. And I've got no caution warning. Nothing to complain about here in the cockpit. Other than that, this air vent reminds me of the air vents that used to be in the uh, upper center console of my 1999 Volkswagen New Beetle. But yeah, cool.
Did hand off their frequency change on Washington Center. Cool, cool. Um, not looking for any significant changes here until Limiaki Hotel, which is at 102 nautical miles standby. Mark, 102 nautical miles out. We will kick uh, to the south a little bit, and then we're going to have to start paying attention a little bit more because then we're going to be uh, most likely receiving flight level changes here to start our descent. See, our decel point is a significant ways uh, ahead of Limiaki Hotel, but beyond there, we are uh, probably going to start our descent a little bit uh, earlier than that, and then we'll start our approach into Charlotte. 97 nautical miles out. That's a meme for those of you who give a damn. Cool stuff, cool stuff, but uh, for the moment everything is okay. If we go into our showcase camera, this is the drone view, but if we go into our fixed camera we can go on board with some stuff. Look at this, out the, out the window. Nice, external 12. If it were possible to get a proper replay system working here in Flight Simulator, I would love to do shorter videos showing you this sort of content in terms of these wing views and stuff on uh, takeoff and approach and landing. But I don't know how to use the the just the incomprehensible replay uh, tool that they have here in the SDK for Flight Simulator. It's stupid. Why don't you just do what you used um, in FS2002 and FS2004, FSX as well? Just rewind the sim and let us play with the camera. Don't have us preset camera angles and stuff because it's dumb. Just, you know, let us play. But... I do like here in this view how you can see on the de-icing ring on the engine nacelle, the forward edge of the uh, nacelle, you can see the riveting there, you can see the uh, little vent hole there on top of the nacelle, and of course you can see all the detail along the de-icing boot on the leading edge of the wing as well as the static probes on the trailing edge of the wing, which is cool. So I do really appreciate this view, it's just uh, I wish it were more usable than it currently is because you can't really fly the airplane from this angle. You need to be able to see out ahead and you obviously can't from this view. But, uh, you know, acknowledge handoff. 121675. Hello, Washington, again. Cool stuff. Cool stuff indeed. Washington Center on 135.4. Good day.
135 decimal 4 for Boeing 601. 135.4 Washington Center Boeing Foxtrot 601 flight level 400. Cool. Boeing Foxtrot 601 Washington Center. Continue as planned. All right. Take us back to the cockpit once we uh, go back to the drone camera here on the showcase view. Cool. Um, yeah, still cruising here at 400. Let me ask you, hotel is a good. How far out? 55 nautical miles out. Full disclosure here, I am absolutely happy to be getting 50 frames per second here in cruise at 40,000 feet, even though we're not really loading any terrain or certainly um, no uh, city meshes or anything like that at this altitude, but I'm really happy to be getting 50 FPS in cruise on my new computer here versus what I used to be getting, which was about 25 to 30, even here with uh, relatively low graphical requirements. So again, pretty uh, encouraged by what's been going on here with this test. Still with 44 nautical miles to go, blessed. And again, we're, uh, once we hit Lima Yankee Hotel, we'll, we'll be going into uh, more of our uh, serious frame of mind for landing. Good day. One two seven decimal seven five for Cessna two eight hotel. Get into the engines here, though. What do we have? Yep. Love the detail that we have in here. So all the combustion is happening in this right here, this center section of the engine, the core of the engine. But on the outside, because the fan is so much bigger than the core of the engine, we're just sucking in air and then bypassing it around the uh, core so that we can effectively. Uh, Use the uh, fan blade as a propeller, a supercharged propeller, as it were. Cool. So that goes a long way into making these engines as efficient as they are these days. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. One two seven a nine or two five. One two seven decimal nine or two five for Boeing six zero one. Pretends to set radios. Washington Hello Washington Fox once again. Hotel is 22, Mark, 22 nautical miles out.
Leaving Yankee Hotel in four nautical miles. Looking for a return to the left at any time. There we go, and there's the turn to the left. Right, so at this point we will be anticipating a couple of things. We'll be looking for uh, orders to descend. Frequency change. K-E-L-L-S. KELLS! Can you people not decode that? Whatever. So that was our course correction. That was our kick to the south. We will then get a kick uh, somewhat east after Sudsy. Kells, Maos, Magic, Sudsy, and then we have our decel point. Okay. Kells is 38 nautical miles away. Stand by. Mark 38. Okay. Cool stuff. Where are we in terms of VFR? We are over Virginia. Washington Center, Diamond November 66119 9,000 feet. Diamond November 66119 Washington Center altimeter. And then into CLT. And this nice sweeping turn on to final will be a turn toward the east. That'll be cool. Three zero zero. Descend and maintain flight, flight level three zero zero, Boeing six zero one. Good times, and we are coming down through top, through top of descent. Good to see that. Um, at some point, we'll have to think about our speed, but for the moment, we're still okay. Looks like we'll be able to maintain a rate of descent at around 3,000 feet per minute at this throttle setting. Obviously the uh, auto throttle is going to respond, but uh, about 3,000 feet per minute we should be okay. We do have an overspeed indication here, but uh, we're right on the cusp of it, so we should be okay. At 30,000 feet, obviously the Mach number, the relative Mach number, and the relative uh, airspeed is going to be increased because the air density will be increased. So I won't change anything at this point. We'll let the auto throttle just deal with itself. But at this point, we are still uh, okay. Goes thirty four thousand. Kills is ten nautical miles out. Mark ten nautical miles. Mm 
be looking good for our next uh, nav aid intersect and then uh, we'll be waiting for anything more in terms of what they're going to give us in terms of instructions obviously I'm expecting after Sudsy to get a whole bunch of instructions for descent below 10,000 and then uh, maybe some speed restrictions but for the moment we are still doing what we need to do to uh, arrive at Charlotte we're just uh, dealing with the LS intercepting various ILS feathers but uh, I don't know how to turn that off so we can regard anything that we see there in terms of the uh, landing system. Descend and maintain flight level 240. Understood. I'll work on that in a moment. Going to VS hole here rather than uh, IS hold because we don't really know uh, what we're going to be dealing with as the air density changes but uh, 240 flight level is uh, the instruction so we will hold that picking up another ILS beacon here just uh, ignore that. You can see that we have our uh, diamond on the bottom here showing us our horizontal situation. Just uh, ignore that. India Uniform Victor Mike, 15.1 nautical miles out. Just uh, doesn't matter. We are not on approach to anywhere at this point. Next nav aid is still going to be Maos. That is at 4.5 nautical miles out and uh, expecting transfer over to Magic soon. For that magic at 40 nautical miles standby mark 40 Atlanta in terms of the frequency change And now they want to call it what it really is. Okay. We can start to increase our assigned airspeed here in the AP. Give me 340 knots. Flight level 240 will be coming up. do have significant clearing relative to what we had at departure so we should be good visual on approach of course we'll confirm all of this once we get there but uh, this looks like fair weather not concerned about any icing as we head through the cloud deck what little of it remains And then once we get into the pattern here for Charlotte, I think we're going to be getting into uh, some speed restrictions. So we will deal with that as it is presented to us. Washington Center... 12,000. Atlanta, tell me to descend and maintain 12,000. Okay. Let's see, 
is. There we go. Senate maintained 12,000. And we are coming into the descent. I am going to select 300 knots preemptively. Because when we drop below 10, obviously we're going to have the 250 knot restriction. Magic is 22 nautical miles out, and then Sutsi will shortly follow thereafter. Give me VS hold. Give me like 4,000 feet a minute. We need to start getting down. 4,000 per minute. Boeing 601, please expedite your descent 12,000 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already done that. So 14 nautical miles, standby, mark 14 to magic, and then uh, we will have a very short duration to Sudsy, at which point we will have another kick over uh, toward the west. And then we will get to our proper desail point, but obviously we've hit the top of the descent uh, a long time ago. So where you see desail, we could expect entry into more or less the pattern, I would expect. Might have to worry a little bit about overspeed as we head into eighteen and a half thousand. Let's uh, decrease our rate of descent a little bit to thirty five hundred a minute, and we see the trim changing into response. Should be okay. Note that the uh, barometric pressure has changed to 996. We're low enough for that to matter. Now we've transferred to Sudsy at just 8 nautical miles out. Once we get there, again, uh, a kick to the east. And then uh, things will start to get serious. Just waiting for the overspeed warning because that appears to be imminent. But again, at uh, Flight level 120, we are just 1,200 feet away. There's the overspeed. Give you a little bit less of a rate of descent. And then that's going to, yep, that's going to stamp itself out. There we go. There is our Jedco beacon. We're we'll getting a turn to the right. I'm going to maintain 8,000. Alright, descend and maintain 8,000. Clear to Jedco. Alright, give me 3,000 feet per minute in terms of rate of descent. At least for the moment. Give me, at the same time, spoilers. Spoilers are out. Flight spoiler detent. The engines are idle. There's 300 knots, 10,500. Boeing 601, contact Charlotte approach on 
Drone approach. One through five, decimal four. One two zero decimal five, rather. Okay. Charlotte Hello, Charlotte. Alright, still sending us to Jetco. We are a little bit fast at 262 knots indicated, but we are at 8,900 feet. FAA shouldn't find us too bad. Uh, in the meantime, let's start getting ourselves ready for landing. Auto brake, I'm going to set that at step two. And the landing lights are going to come on. Other than that, I don't have any complaints. I am also going to turn off the de icing systems. And then 8,000 feet is where we're going to level off at any time now. We go pretty much level off at 8,000 feet, 254 knots indicated, ground speed at 287. I'm still waiting for their instruction, really. Do we have. Why did we not make our turn? Should we have made a turn? Yeah, we probably should have made a turn. Why did that not happen? Um, let's... Uh, huh. Let's change this to approach hold. See if we make a turn. Okay, make a turn to the right. That makes some sense to me. Okay. Do not hold altitude. Let's see what this does. Maintain seven thousand. Descend and maintain seven thousand feet, Boeing six zero one. Boeing six zero one, descend and maintain six thousand. Descend and maintain six thousand, okay. Descend and maintain six thousand feet, Boeing six zero one. Boeing six zero one. Descend and maintain five thousand. I see where we're going here. That should not have happened. But it did, so we have to deal with it. Descend and maintain 4,000. I, I, I get a sense of uh, what's going on. Yeah, we should have had that intercept far earlier on than where we currently are. And then, of course, we should have... Uh, started that uh, final leg of the descent far earlier than uh, where we currently are. Now having uh, turned to the left, which would be toward the south, I think we're going to intercept what would be the glide slope. Uh, obviously it's going to be way high, but maybe we'll be uh, on center line. 
That'll be nice. Okay, yeah, we're not going to do the uh, immediate turn. Runway 18 Center is where we're going to be coming in. So as long as we are on that vector, we'll be okay. Alright, looks like we are pretty much bang on in terms of the center line. Um, I feel like we should be descending a little bit quicker. Yeah. Give me 3,000 feet per minute and we're going to turn off the auto throttle and we're going to idle thrust. Give me spoilers. And give me flaps one. Flaps five. Right. Tower on one two six decimal four. Hello, Charlotte. Eight miles, ILS one eight center. Two nine nine or six. Check QNH. Check. Good stuff. Um, get rid of the LNAV and just uh, give me approach hold. Por favor. Clear to land. One eight center. Good stuff. We are way high at this point still. I am just going to turn off the AP entirely and just go uh, go visual. 2500 gear coming. Spoilers are out. Give me HUD, please. There we go. Not that it matters much, but there it is. Um, looks good. There it goes. 1,800 feet at 210 knots. Gear down and locked. Flaps coming down to flaps 10. Okay. A little bit below glide slope. I'm just going to fly a carrier approach here. Put our velocity vector on the runway. 400 feet, gear is down and locked, flaps coming out more, flaps 20, 300 feet, continue, give me thrust, the gear is not down, why is the gear not down, it's floated a little bit. There we go. We got control back. Gear is down and lock confirmed. We have a touchdown. There's a reverse. Auto brake is on. We're 
reverse out, auto brake is off, and turn off. There we go. Get rid of the HUD. Good stuff. Boeing 601, contact ground on 121 decimal niner. 121 decimal niner. 121 decimal niner, Boeing 601. I don't know what happened there in the last uh, 100 feet or so of... Uh, of landing, uh, it seemed like the landing gear did not come out. Should have done. But regardless, we are on the ground. And it doesn't appear that anybody is any the worse for wear. Flaps retracted and spoilers retracted. I am just going to park up here in terms of uh, <laughs> where the GA parking is because I don't really feel like going across the world to try and find a gate. So we've got this guy who appears to be wanting to give us some direction. So I'll just park up right here. Good enough. Parking brake is on. Start the APU. In the meantime, we'll make sure that the airplane is cleaned up, flaps are up, and the spoilers are retracted. Parking brake is set. Uh, we don't have any unresolved caution warning. AP is off. Landing lights are off. Going to turn off our navs, logos, and wing lights. Beacon will remain on as long as the engines are running. Uh, hydraulics are good. APU will come on the line and then we'll turn on the APU gens. Otherwise, everything appears to be in good shape. APU gens on the line, turning off the engine gens. Shutting down the engines, fuel off, stand by for shutdown. The engines are coming down, fuel flow stopped. All right, that's good. APU gens on the line. Shut down the APU gens and shut down the APU. It's good. No, I've got no complaints. Ready to shut down the battery and call the airplane parked. Battery off. What does this thing look like? Yeah. Not very <laughs> not very glamorous. Certainly not where we should have parked it, but we are parked here. And uh, we're in one piece. We made it. Is that what... Uh, should have happened, I don't know. That uh, approach and landing was a little bit haphazard. The autopilot did not take us onto the uh, glide slope as it should have done, but we made it on the ground. I don't think the landing gear dropped when I thought it did, but we made it. I did call it gear down at 2500 on the uh, GPWS, but don't know if that happened. Regardless, we are here and we're in one piece. And the weather here is very nice compared to what it was when we left Newark, so cool. I will take it, and uh, I didn't have any tremendous uh, frame drops or anything, so successful test in terms of what we'll be able to do in the future in terms of more formal flight simulator content. It's very happy about all of that stuff. Until next time, though, for IMAT601 saying thank you very much for watching, and of course, we will see you soon.